ہے Send it to me, please. All right. Technical team. District 2 Education Education Officer Ms. Martha Foster Representatives of the schools PGTA Representatives of each past graduating class especially that of class of 1985 Distinguished staff members, parents, students of class of 2021. Our videography and technical team members, Mr. Glenn Simon and Mr. Cameron Brown, as well as our dear family, friends, and benefactors of Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. I bid you a beautiful and blessed morning. Welcome to the school leaving ceremony of the class of 2021. 
I now ask you to please remain seated as our graduates make their procession into the church. I would now invite those seated to please stand. And we stand at attention as the national anthem is played.
Thank you very much. Please remain standing as we invite the student tasked with the opening prayer to please come forward. Would Erin George please lead us in the prayer for the morning? Can you please bow your heads? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving Father, thank you that by you all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. You have promised that those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Let me lack nothing as I look to you for every need and desire in my life. Pour out your blessing upon me. May I see your beauty, feel your love, know your wisdom, and experience your power. Heavenly Father, as we gather here for this special occasion of our school leaving ceremony, we place the proceedings into your hands. We pray that your presence will stay with us and guide this ceremony according to your will. We ask that you bless every person here today, the speaker, all graduates, staff, and those who are watching and celebrating with us virtually. We thank you for everything that you've done for us, seen and unseen. We will praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you very much, Erin. I would now invite everyone to please be seated. <laughs> District 2 Education Officer, Ms. Martha C. Foster, Principal of Castries Comprehensive Secondary School, Ms. Marva Daniel. Vice Principal, Ms. Anne Gifford Elcock. Representatives of the school's PGTA. Representatives of the past graduating class of 1985, Mrs. Caroline Ogis and Lauren Prosper. Distinguished staff members, parents, students of class of 2021, as well as our dear family members, friends, and benefactors viewing us on live stream. I bid you all a pleasant good morning. I am Elizabeth Suma, and I will be your mistress of ceremonies this morning. Welcome to the school leaving ceremony for the class of 2021. Under the theme, Choices and Changes, Sailing Strong. This theme was chosen to coincide with the biblical verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. It's listed at the front of your program. And how apt it is for this school leaving exercise at this time where we find ourselves trying to find a normal 
way of living amidst a global pandemic. But Castries Comprehensive Secondary School has always shown that no matter what, even in the face of adversity, we sail and stand strong. So I welcome you with great pleasure and pride this morning and ask you all to enjoy the celebration, to participate fully, and to continue remembering this revered institution in your prayers. Thank you one and all. Now we will have a special song to be done by our graduate of class of 2021, Ms. Darlene Francis. She will be singing for us the song entitled Time of your life. Let's put our hands together for Darlene. This is where the trap is. The now begins. Time has come for it. The hardest part is when you know all of these years. When we were here, our ending. But I'll always remember. That's the time of our life. Now the page is turned.
Thank you very much, Darlene Francis. The time of your life. We pray that you had the time of your life during your five years at CCSS. Put our hands again together for Darlene. We now have the presentation of class of 2021 with the subject awards and special subject prizes, as well as a special mention of their engagements during their five years at Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. I now invite our dear Vice Principal, Ms. Anne Gifford Elcock, together with the homeroom teachers, to please come to my right in preparation for the distribution of the folders to the homerooms as they are called. Would the class of Form 5 Science please stand? I would invite everyone to hold your applause for the end when everyone in the homeroom has found their way back to their seats. And homeroom students, remember to remain standing until I ask you to be seated. Elizabeth Augustine. Shalom Cox. Shalom, come right up. Come. Nella Dominique. Erin George. Kiana Harris. Ashme Joseph. Jamila Jules, Kilani Mitchell, Tosha Newton, Kumya Popo, Dania Raul, Johnyel Williams, Kathy Wilson, Shanice Wilson, Kelsey Wilson. Nathaniel Charles, Ivan Docite, Edward Kahn, Kissinger Francis, Nicholas Jacoby, Keon John, 
Sham Minville, and Cassandre Smith. Thank you, Five Science. Let's put our hands together for Homeroom Five Science with the homeroom teachers, Ms. Bina Joseph, Mr. Cody St. Louis, and Ms. Reagan Butcher. Please be seated, Five Science. Please note that in the folders, you will receive your CXC certificate, your graduation certificate. Those who are prefects would receive a certificate of appreciation and the subject awards. When I call your name, please stand. Tasha Newton receive the award for best biology student. Elizabeth Augustine for best chemistry student. Dania Raoul for best physics student. Elizabeth Augustine also receives the award for Spanish, and Kathy Wilson for French, Dania Raoul for Mathematics, Erin John for English Language. From five general, please stand. Homeroom teachers, Mr. Rayson Mondesi and Ms. Donalyn Hippolyte. Jaden Alexander. Please come up. Kenley Alexander. Antoinette Anthony, Tori Aurelia, Malil Cherry, Terence Desi, Neham Etienne, Latoya Faswa, Shante George, Kyle Gustav, Katie John, Joanne Jules, Aaron Laurie, Miriam Montout, Janaya Noel, Travian Paul, Jaden Phillip, Esther Roseman, Sia Sidney, and Nicola Theophil.
Let us put our hands together for Form 5 General. Please be seated. We now invite Form 5 Business to please stand. Homeroom teachers, Leslie Ann Emanuel and Mrs. Bernice Adams Joe. From five business, Rebecca Alla, Taisha Kade, Kitana Casimir, Kelana Chico, John Marie Clerville, John L. Cox, Shakima Joseph, Emily Jules, Shanice Jules, Brittany Lochter. Shanique Marius, Kyle Mathra, Naima Modes, Gaia Nicholas, Shania Ogil, Taisha Phillip, Janaya Roseman, Lily Sonson, Leslie Ann Spencer, Corey St. Rose. Let us put our hands together for Form 5 Business. With their homeroom teachers, Ms. Leslie Ann Emanuel and Mrs. Bernice Adams Joe. Five bi Business, you may have a seat. We now invite Form 5 Vocational to please stand. Homeroom, homeroom teachers, Mrs. Priscilla Codra and Ms. Nicole Edgard. Ridge Alfred, Ruben Atico, Naisha Bastien, Tejon Bruno. We save the applause for the end. Keyshawn Charles, Leslie Ann Emilie, Darlene Francis, Heidi Frederick, Kayla Girau, Natalie Gregg, Eleni Jagannath, Jamil James, Amy Joseph, Kanisha Mathre, Aziza Napoleon, Shaquan Seferin, Lily Souls.
Twyla Williams. Let us put our hands together for Form 5 Vocational. Form 5 Vocational, you may be seated. Thank you, Mrs. Kodra and also Ms. Edgard, homeroom teachers. We now invite Form 5 Technical to please stand. Homeroom teachers, Ms. Yasmin Setash and Mr. Antonio D. Tilville. Osric Antoine, Cameron Bartlett, Tayshawn Christoph, Kanai Dove, Deandre D. Tilville, Mervlin Dupigny, Jaden Foshi, Keanu Felicien, Jone Felix, Naviege Frederick, Tyrell Frederick, Darwin James, Rena Jean, Simeon Joseph, Stanley Joseph, Alexa Jules, Menisa Jules, Jelani Matthew, Angela Millington, Gabriella Mitchell, Ishmael Moise, Isaac Narsis, Cohen Nelson, Colvin Paul, Giovanni Paul, Chris Phillip, Jaden Regis, Hazael Richardson, Heston Sanka, Karima Spencer, Chrisanne Senquois, Joel Wilness, and Louia Wilness. Ty Martin.
Thank you very much from Five Technical, as well as homeroom teachers, Mr. De Turville and Mr. Tash. And also, thank you very much, our dear Vice Principal, Ms. Anne Gifford Elcock. Let's put our hands together for Form 5 Technical. Please be seated, Form 5 Technical. Now, students, in your folders, some of you would have received the following. Subject awards, which were presented by your subject teachers for the various 33 subjects. Special subject prizes donated and presented by the subject teachers themselves, and special mention of students in the various engagements that you took part in. These were your activities as members of various clubs and groups for the class of 2021. Our individual subject prizes, when I call you, just please stand so that we can highlight who you are. Principles of Business, John Murray Clerville. Principles of Accounts, Brittany Lochter. <laughs> Office Administration, Taisha Phillip. <laughs> Eleni Jagannath, Information Technology. <laughs> Electronic Document Preparation and Management, Brittany Lochter. <laughs> Economics, Brittany Lochter. Auto Mechanics, Tyrell Frederick. Agricultural Science, Leslie Ann Spencer. Building Technology, Rena Jean. Electronics and Electrical Technology, Cassandra Smith. Mechanical Engineering Technology, Chris Phillip. Technical Drawing, Kissinger Francis. Physical Education and Sport, Keanu Felicia. Spanish, Elizabeth Augustine. French, Kathy Wilson. Mathematics, Dania Raul. English A, Erin George. English B, Miriam Montoot. Social Studies, Eleni Jagannath. History, Miriam Montoot and Eleni Jagannath. Geography, Miriam Montoot. Textiles, clothing, and fashion, Naisha Bastien. Food, nutrition, and health, Shania O'Gill. As well as Sire Sydney. Visual arts, art, Naviej Frederick. Visual arts, craft, Eleni Jagannath. Music, Darlene Francis. Theater Arts, Dance, Eleni Jagannath. Theater Arts, Drama, Natalie Gregg. Food Preparation, Restaurant Server, server Nella Dominique. Biology, Tosha Newton. Chemistry, Elizabeth Augustine. Physics, Dania Raoul. Let us put our hands together once again for all of our subject awardees.
We also have special prizes donated by the teachers. So you just please stand and you will collect your awards at the end of the ceremony. Special award for consistent academic performance in food, nutrition, and health, Dania Raoul, given by Mrs. Kodra. Special award for most innovative student in food, and nu food nutrition, and health, Lily Sills, also given by Mrs. Kodra. Overall performance for electrical and electronics technology, sponsored by Wayne Louis, Kenai Dove. Best practical ability, sponsored by Livon Fontenelle, Cohen Nelson. As well as certificate for agricultural science for Cohen Nelson. Special Spanish Award from Miss Annaville for Kelsey Wilson for her unwavering dedication, perseverance, and excelling in Spanish. Outstanding performance in CSEC Social Studies given by the department. Akim Ernest, Akim Ernest and Kathy Wilson. Most improved performance in social studies, Tyrell Frederick. Most persistent and dedication, dedicated perform, and dedication in geography, Sire Sydney. Most improved in history, Stanley Joseph. Most committed and industrious social studies student, Erin George. From Ms. Jonge in social studies for outstanding performance in social studies in Ms. Jonge's class, Nella Dominic and Jaden Regis. And for persevering in social studies in Ms. Jonge's class, Tosha Newton. For building furniture technology. Special award to Guyan Nicholas for his practical ability for demonstrating a hardworking, self sacrificing attitude during the construction project. So that's Guyan Nicholas. And for the theory aspect of building and furniture technology, Mr. Jelani Matthew, for his discipline, hard work, devotion, and untimely, and ultimately obtaining a near perfect score for the theoretical component of the SBA. That's Jelani Matthew. Tokens of appreciation also given by Mr. Dorville. For Louia Wilness, Donald Pierre, Tejon Bruno, Khan Edward, Mervyn Dupigny, Ty Martin, Gabriella Mitchell, Chris Phillip, and Simeon Joseph for going beyond the call of duty and demonstrating a self sacrificing attitude. And our special engagements, our Dukas. Consistent participation in activities hosted by the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme, Joanne Jules, John L. Cox, Travian Paul, Kitana Kazimi, John Marie Clerville, and Leslie Ann Emilier. Outstanding contribution to the Duke, Duke of Edinburgh program, Travian Paul, Joanne Jules, and Leslie Ann Emilie. Thank you, students. Thank you, teachers.
We also have special homeroom awards for from five general from Mr. Mondesi and Ms. Hippolyte. So you collect these after, as well as school squire, Darlene Francis, Mervyn Dupigny, Karima Spencer, Louia Wilness, Joel Wilness, Giovanni Paul, and Colvin Paul. At this time, we will now have the remarks by our dear principal. We know that every organization has a leader, a captain of the ship. In our case, we have two captainesses in the persons of Miss Marva Daniel as the principal and Miss Anne Givak. Gifford Elcock as the vice principal. The duties of a leader is to ensure that they make everything operate smoothly, no matter what challenges they may come across. That they do not cower or shirk in the presence of adversity. And COVID-19 did present to us lots of adversity and challenges. But our captain of CCSS, together with the school's team, ensured that we navigated those waters as smoothly as possible. So we invite our beloved principal, Miss Marva Daniel, to come forward to present a bird's eye recollection of the past years for class of 2021 and CCSS. We invite our dear principal, Miss Marva Daniel. Let's put our hands together. District Education Officer, Ms. Martha Foster, distinguished guests in the persons of our long-serving PGTA President and Interim Committee Member, Mr. Edison Raoul, our industrious, supportive, guests present here in the persons of outstanding parents, especially Ms. Cipriana George, our distinguished past students of class of 1985, Mrs. Lauren Prosper, our distinguished parents who have journeyed through the years with class of 2021, our RK teachers, our ancillary staff, our videography and photography team, I am indeed privileged to once again deliver for the 10th time the principal's remarks to the class of 2021. A group of students who have created history in many, many, many ways. And they, having journeyed to this end, have allowed me to say good day. 
welcome and congratulations because every single person in here and viewing online played a pivotal role in your development. Whether before class of 2021 attended CCSS or during your tenure as a cardinal. For those of you who came to us from St. Lucian schools, today I need to say thank you, principals of your daycare centers, principals and managers of your primary schools, because these formative years allowed us to be gifted with class of 2021. And oftentimes we forget that these people allowed today to happen. So again, thank you. I said earlier that you created history. And I said also in the preparation of my remarks that I will not give COVID too much air waves and credit to anything COVID allowed us to discover, to reimagine, and to acknowledge the depth and wealth of gifts that we have been blessed with. And it's because of that we were able to successfully journey to this day. So let's put our hands together for each and every single one of you. You are now. are now showing off because this was our everyday life after we returned in April 2019. You navigated pages in lips and bounds so much so that our CCSS platform had to navigate to the Ministry of Education's Moodle platform and even now because of our concentrated engagements, the Ministry of Education had to seek a more robust server for the Moodle platform. So students and teachers, parents, I again say thank you. My presentation today is not about just about the school. It's about you students. It's about what We saw you involved in what we at CCSS pioneered, the first ever online registration for the Sir Arthur's Community College, fully virtually done. The first ever Zoom call and platform meeting for parents and students of any secondary school was done with CCSS, our initiative. So, we can say thank you to COVID. CXC registration for the third time is happening completely virtually, reducing the need for persons to report to the main office and of course reducing the transfer of documents from person to person. We saw an increased number of staff, parent, school, parent conferences like never before. We did engage in virtual subject selection processes for our form, current Form 3s and Form 4 students. At CCSS, innovative programs continue to take place with our virtual assemblies, first ever I've ever seen within any secondary school or primary school on the island. And so you saw this, the launch of the sports program completely virtual and our weekly sports assembly in October, showing off the challenges, of course, but the succinct, blessed gifts that our teachers and students have. We have continuing our weekly spelling quiz every Tuesday morning and now in the evening. We have our weekly ROK sessions that every single person here and online can at this very minute log on to our YouTube channel 
and access these wonderful productions that have been made. As we speak, and probably... ever fully virtual e-election for our CCSS Students Council's Executive 2021. Come on, let's put our hands together for these students who electronically executive members. If CCSS isn't the pioneer school, none other is. And this is why I insist consistently to defer when persons compare CCSS with any other school. No other school presents subject awards for 33 different subject areas, none other. And so, as you continue to navigate the walls of academia in further education's children, brag about your alma mater, CCSS. Our classrooms are no longer just four walls. They are Zoom platforms, they are Google Meets, WebEx, Blue Buts, Big Blue Button, Google Classrooms, and of course our YouTube channel, our Instagram pages, our websites show off what we are made of. CCSS? Oh my God, you've forgotten. CCSS? Frog moments have certainly transformed teaching and learning at CCSS. Additionally, you students were gifted, and us too, with, oh, I have a call. And this is an interesting call because a member of your class of 2021 is currently seeking admission to colleges and universities overseas. And on my phone is Gashem Bernard. Gashem Bernard, good morning. Morning, miss. How are you? Excellent, Gashem. We are here celebrating what you are part of. Because from Form 1 to Form 3, you stood out with excellence in every single subject area. And I'm so proud to invite you and involve you in this morning's celebration. Thank you so much, Miss. I need to share with the students why we have maintained relation and contact. Gashem transferred to high school in Texas. But today, he is delayed in his process of admission because he needs from CCSS his engagements in all his clubs and other affiliations to earn additional credits and to be more positioned with scholarships and other access to better quality education in the state that he belongs. Isn't this right, Gashem? Yes, Ms. Daniel. Yes, and so he's seeking his engagements in junior achievement and all the other clubs that he belonged to. So thank you, Gashem, for calling. I needed you to say something to the children about what it means to be a CCSS student and how you have benefited. Um, <laughs> it really shaped my, my education purposes. And like, I'm really appreciative of the time that I spend there. Thank Without you. it, I'll Thank you so much, Gashem. And I will share with them all the awards you have, you have shown me. And Gashem and his brother are topping every single subject on the president's award list at the, universe, at the, at the high school that he attends. Isn't this right, Gashem? It's this. Yes, miss. Thank you, Gashem. We will keep in touch. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Congratulations. Come on, students. This is your classmate.
short-term engagements, and these are students who do not forget what it means to benefit from now. The splendor of achievement today is a bliss of growth that you will never, ever forget. And so we were gifted with the CASIP project, which allowed us to have internet access in strategic areas at CCSS. We are not fully satisfied, and so we're hoping that this is improved significantly to allow every single section of our school, which is quite large, to be fully accessible to the internet um, project. We saw 16 CCTV cameras installed, which became some game toys for some students. And so we saw them being bent and played with, but that's okay. Things new tend to interest people more. However, this has certainly assisted and complemented the security at our school. We saw devices being given to students of CCSS from two and from three students last year. And so we are waiting those gift and promise to our form one and form three students. The establishment of our data access team, which we refer to as our DAT, provides technical support to our many staff members and students to ensure that nobody is left behind with accessibility. And so our data access team made up of our admin members, principal, vice principal, and key members on staff, Mr. Nassus, Mr. Lewis, Mr. St. Louis, Ms. Biscom, Ms. Jones, Thank you so very much, and Mr. St. Math. We really appreciate this very much. So, our multi-talented, digitally savvy, highly technologically advanced staff members ensured that we integrated instruction with technology, as I said earlier, by exploding the Moodle platform with so much exciting content that, as I said, forced the ministry to transfer to a more robust server. Even Charles, our caretaker, is on WhatsApp. And we could see that daily when he said, hey, miss, I just saw something, I saw a video, and so on. So our, even our caretakers are digitally savvy. So thank you, staff members. Thank you, students, for cooperating. Thank you for engaging. We have seen successes of immediate past students, such as McKinney Clark's recently selection to the West Indies cricket team. Let's put our hands together for him. Gabriel was prized with, in second place, the ECCB RSS Creative Youth Art Competition, and it was awarded a thousand 2,000, sorry, US dollars, CCSS 1,500 to develop visual arts, and the teacher assisting $500 for such a creative engagement. Let's put our hands together for this student. <laughs> Internal strides and opportunities, all, not just English, math, and some others who boasted about it, but all of our eight academic departments boast their ability to organize standardized assessments across all form levels, and not just to organize, but to monitor students' engagements on all of our platforms. Our technical vocational subject areas initially feared the challenge of teaching practical subjects online, but we have evidence of how they overcame this barrier or this challenge or obstacle. As we saw Mr. St. Lucie's innovative live sessions virtually transporting students from their living rooms into his car engine and the Met workshop. Talk about genius. Let's give our, put our hands together for Mr. St. Lucie. you embarked on a very interesting cooperative study with sagassum seaweed being used to compare the use of natural fertilizer vis-a-vis -vis that of imported or artificial. And so, and so we saw the use of sagassum seaweed in both vegetable farming and livestock 
production, thus increasing the quality of products that you were able to produce. Give, let's give our hands, put our hands together for our Aris Science students and Mr. Fontenelle, who unfortunately cannot be here with us. Nobody did sports, or if they did virtually, but not at CCSS. I need the Form 5 SBA class of 2021 to please stand. You were the ones who brilliantly crafted this idea. Come on, Keanu and team, stand up. With fantasy football. And we saw our Form 1s and Form 2s and Form 3s engage in this awesome tournament named after world-renowned football teams. Remain standing. And I think Team Juventus won for the first time the fantasy football. Well, that's it, so you're paying attention. So Barcelona won the first ever fantasy football where girls and boys together competed in teams that were well-known names around the world. Thank you, let's put our hands together for PE Class 2021. And it continued as our PE teachers concocted a brilliant idea to ensure that our students were not just sitting at devices, you know, or, or in classrooms. And so they presented and boosted excitement and stamina by executing the first ever, the Cooper Challenge activity, which saw exuberance and excitement among the lower school students who were the only ones to get the chance to participate, unfortunately. So if you go online, you activity. Yes, our badminton tournament was stalled. Yes, our Banare Games in Martinique, which we participated in in 2019, was stalled. But we are preparing for when it can happen again as we continue to ensure that CCSS, which of course is the only school representing St. Lucia at these two events in Guadeloupe and Martinique, respectively. Our very own Rio Victor represented St. Lucia in July in Santo Domingo, where he played volleyball tournament and emerged victorious. So let's put our hands together for our very own Rio Victor. Female footballer, Christian St. Croix, also represented St. Lucia overseas. Is Christian here? Please stand up. Yeah. And so we have our current students representing our beautiful island and being ambassadors in sports. Table tennis players, regional table tennis players, Ishmael Moise and DeAndre Cauldron continue to keep fit for upcoming tournaments that COVID could, of course, prevent now, but will never, of course, prevent again. We saw the revitalization of the chess club as an interesting activity occurred during the summer, and past student Neym Augustine participated and emerged overall fourth winner. We continue to keep hope alive. We continue to plan and execute exciting activities. Our CXC performances this year, of course, allow us to reflect and to reimagine even more how better we could perform at the various subject areas that we saw some obvious declines in performance. However, CCSS has, over the past five years, an average of 90% CXC pass rate for 2017 to 2021. And if one looks at the records, one will see that while our intake has been a B plus, we have maintained an A plus average at our overall pass rate at the CXC exams. We continue to see increasing numbers of students passing for math and English, and we have an, a steadfast overall pass rate in English, and of course, in all of the TVET areas at our school. For example, in 2020, we saw 16 subjects attaining 100% passes at the CXC examinations. And I could list them for you, but we know 
all the TVET areas, Agri, History, EDPM, English A, Food and Nutrition, Theatre Arts, IT, BT, POB, Textiles, Clothing and Fashion, Electrical Technology, Mechanical Engineering, We registered last year over 40 Form 4s. Some of them are right here. And you attained 100% passes in all the subject areas that you registered for. English, PE, MEC, IT, and Social Studies. We continue to encourage students to explore international exams such as the ACT, which will cert certainly provide opportunities for you to explore further education and, of course, careers. We thank the Ministry of Education for the support and provision of devices and access to internet, as tablets and MiFi devices were provided for students of our school last year. We also saw students being gifted with special face screens or shields Special masks were also given a thousand by the mayor of Castries from the Taiwanese government. The Ministry of Education also provided us with 50 extra masks for students of CCSS. At this point, we thank the members of class of 1985 who reached out to four of our members of class of 2021. Through the Urban Preville School Fund, they were able to provide for the second time the annual scholarship to those students. And so we saw four of our students being gifted with the full payment of the CXC fee and two of these four students gifted with digital devices. Let us give due credit and due thanks to members of class of 1985. Mrs. O Ms. Ogis and Mrs. Prosper, please stand and take a bow. Thankfulness takes the sting out of adversity. So we encourage to give thanks regardless of our circumstances and in all things always be thankful. It is no coincidence that your farewell today, class of 2021, or your final adieu is on America's Thanksgiving Day. Today you have attained something very, very important, an end to secondary school life. We hope that the future is bright. We hope that every single one of you continue to express gratitude. Thanks is in what you say, but gratitude is in your attitude to today and tomorrow. And so we hope to continue training our staff and students to upgrade digital competencies. And some of our teachers are already being gifted with such training as they are members of the Start and Youth Business Project, which qualifies them as trainers for in and out of assisting future entrepreneurs identify their business ideas. So Ms. Hades, Mrs. Shalry, and Ms. adams Joe are all part of this first phase of this program, teachers of District 2, teachers of CCSS. The introduction of our 10% award to online engagement and on-site engagement should see increased positive attitude towards schoolwork, an area of concern by all school administrators. Plans are on the way to undertake a complete review of all of our department's operations and to engage all stakeholders to lead discussion and to take review of our current mission and to embark on a complete improvement and development plan for CCSS for the next three years. I certainly hope that you will play a pivotal role as members of CCSS alumni. We hope to benefit to and improve both physical and structural aspects of CCSS. So we better be the recipients of the next IKI project. 
Our men's club continue to boost men mentorship of young boys as we see motivational talks continuing for boys of, at all four, form four levels. And so we thank Mr. Mondesi and his team. Our men's club continue to show that men are in charge. Our vision is not only for CCSS, but for District 2, the number one district, to establish the first ever digital TV station with the assistance of CCSS, coming out of what we have seen from our first ever electronic election, this can certainly be a reality in the very, very soon future. And so, as I end, I ask Ms. Frederick to assist me. I ask students to assist me as I invite two students who will assist in presenting a special, special tribute to our parents. I invite Keanu Felicien. and Miriam Montut. As they come up, we have represented here two parents. And it isn't my coincidence that they are here. One, Mr. Edison Raoul from Form 1, has consistently been of service to CCSS. There was nothing I would call and ask of or from Mr. Edison Raoul that he wouldn't make happen. And so it gives me great pleasure as the principal to call Mr. Raoul forward and to be elected by me as the most outstanding male parent of class of 2021. Please receive my simple but very meaningful token of appreciation, sir. So. Ms. Cipriana George, anything, and I think Sandals Halcyon must be tired of her, anything we wanted, we needed, this parent offered support, and I can tell you from Form 1, 2, Form 5, added value to CCSS. Even with the district, when Ms. Foster's coffee maker broke down, <laughs> Ms. Judge, our district cannot be without a coffee maker, and it was delivered pronto. Our most outstanding female or female parent, if you want to say, or mom for me, Ms. Cipriana George. Please accept my little token of appreciation. And if I had more, I could give, I could speak, but we don't have much time. And this is why I crafted together, with the help of these two students, just a little word of thanks, which I ask you to listen to. For just a little while, you carried us through from day to day, your care and love from there to here. So for just a little while, but long enough, let me say thank you. For just a little while, you let go and we soared. But watch us now on the big ship of life, maneuvering wheels, staring to courses unknown. But we forge to the end, because you are always there with us, even if here for just a little while. Your words are wise and continue to instruct. Use your education, your natural talents and skills to chart and navigate the path you traverse. Blessings to you, my queen. Peace to you, my king. We know that we did it. Our prizes shall prove it. We are glad for today because of who you are. And so we face bravely the uneven storms to show what you made of us, a part of you we know. You did more than your best, Mom. You sacrificed and labored, Dad. So today, for just a little while, we each say thank you. We appreciate you. 
but definitely forever. We, we love, love you, you until. until. Together with me, say thank you on behalf of Class of 2021. Give to them. Bring it for them. Teachers, it wouldn't be possible without you. And so, Class of 2021 would like to say thank you. But even more, they would like to single out one of their teachers. And so I'm allowing them to do so and to give a little token of appreciation to this individual. Not all thanks for not all thanks for Mr. Blanchard. Take off the mask. We, the former students of the Form 5 Principals Accounts class, would like to thank you, Mr. Blanchard, wholeheartedly for everything you have done for us. We really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. You have stuck with us through thick and thin, and for that we are forever grateful. Through hard times, when we needed a lending hand or just a push, you were there egging us on. Many teachers don't carry the, cap don't carry the capability of having a passion for teaching, but you came and showed us it is possible. You have left a positive impact on our journey through the three years. You've taught us lessons for the Sorry. You have left a positive impact on our journey through the three years, and we intend on using the lessons you have taught us to be better people of tomorrow. Someone said a good teacher can inspire hope, ignite the imagination, and instill a love of learning. You managed to do that for us, and for that, we thank you. Jean Marie. And as we come to the end of this presentation, I'd just like to say thank you again to you, class of 2021. Of course, without you two, this would not have been a re reality. And so I say thank you to each and every one of you. Your contributions throughout the year certainly were invaluable, priceless even, and you continue to add value as you continue to add value wherever you journey to. Just remember that you are blessed, you are special, and you are God's creation. Thank you very much. view of what it is to be a student at CCSS and to be involved in this illustrious institution. Let's put our hands together again for our dear principal. Thank you, Ms. Daniel. As we proceed, in all the names I had to call out, and all the bits of paper, I end up, ended up missing out two names. And it would be remiss of me for me not to indicate who these students are and what prize they were awarded. Mr. Prescott, our art teacher, gave, an, gave special awards to these two students. Kayla Jirau, please stand for Most Artistic. And Alexa Jules for Most Improved Student in Visual Arts Art. My apologies, Mr. Prescott. We now move on to our Sports Awards. We know that Castries Comprehensive is an all-round, comprehensive, holistic school. 
We are known for exhibiting our prowess in academics and even more so in the sporting arena. To assist with the presentation of our sports awards, we call on our two sports coordinators, Mr. Brandon Clausel and Ms. Yasmin Setage. Ms. Setage will fly solo. All right. These awards will be given to students for the various categories that I will highlight. When I call your name, you come forward to receive your award. Netballer of the Year, a joint award. Shania Ogil and Taisha Kade. Please come up quickly. Please come up quickly. Cricketer of the Year, a joint award. Shanik Marius and Karima Spencer. Please come up quickly. Footballer of the Year, Male, Joint Award, Keanu Felicien and Neham Etienne. Come quickly, boys. Walk with a purpose. Footballer of the Year, female, joint award, Chris Hansen Kwa and Menissa Jules. Chris Han and Menissa. Track and field, male, joint award, Javid Volney and Malil Cherry. Track and field female joint award, Mervlin Dupigny and Leslie Ann Spencer. Walk quickly, girls. Mervlin and then Leslie Ann.
Volleyballer of the Year, female, Erin George. Male, Ishmael Moise. Ishmael Moise. Basketballer of the Year, joint, Jamil James and Shaquan Severin. They are actually cardinal. Table tennis player of the year. And Sportsman of the Year, Keanu Felicia. Thank you very much, students, and also Miss Setaj and Miss Frederick. Let's put our hands together for our sports personalities of the year. As I stated, these were under the cardinal umbrella, the umbrella under which all of us find ourselves. But subsequent to that, or under that umbrella, we have four houses. And so, I will just call out the names of those who will be receiving special prizes for participating in various house activities, but you will collect these awards at the end of the ceremony. Okay, students? So when I call your name, you just stand up, just pop up, and you will collect your award at the end. So we start with the order as it was last year, H-O-A-F. We start with our Heronites. These Heronites are being recognized for their unwavering contribution to Heron House. Certificates are awarded to Jermaine Ade, Cameron Bartlett, Keyshawn Charles, John Murray Clerville, Kathy Wilson, Jaden Rages. Danny Mitchell, Nicholas, Guy and Nicholas. Leslie Ann Emilia, Naisha Bastia, Karima Spencer, Jaden Alexander, and the Spirit of Heron House Award to Shernick Marius, as well as the Spirit of Heron House Award to the female, Twyla William. We now move on to Oriole House. Mrs. Lord, 
asked me to say a special note to her babies. She said that each and every one of you gave your all to the house and she is et the entire house team. They are eternally grateful for all that you have done. It was a really special crew, especially the boys. You all are all dedicated and demonstrated true sportsmanship and house spirit. So they, the house master, mistress, and all house members appreciate your service, your contribution, and they are wishing you all the best in the future. So for Oriole House, Erin George, female house captain. Leslie Ann Spencer, vice captain. Taisha Kade, head cheerleader. Daniela Daniel, Eleni Jagannath, Shalom Cox, Maria Sergis, Malil Cherry, unwavering male house captain for more than a year, two consecutive years. Shaquan Severin, vice captain. Nathaniel Charles, Jonay Felix, Rich Alfred, Osric Antoine, Nicholas Jacoby, Isaac Narcis, Simeon Joseph, Edward Kahn, Jaden Regis, Donovan Philip, who has migrated, and Javid Volney. Put our hands together for all. House for all your dedication and service for the five years. Darwin James, Donald Pierre, Tayshawn Christoph, Christoph, Kitana Kasimi, Kiana Harris, Nikella Theophil, Rena Jean, Terence Daisy, Niall Williams, Travian Paul, Menissa Jules, Shania Ogil, Louia Wellness, Cassandra Smith, Tyrell Frederick, Chrisanne Senqua, and Tejon Bruno. And the Finch Awards, Latoya Faswa, Jelani Matthew, Esther Roseman, Shanice Jules, Giovanni Paul, Cohen Nelson, Jaden Fauché, Lily Searles, Kelsey Wilson, Ashme Joseph, Joel Wilness, Kayla Girau, Navyesh Frederick, Heston Sanka, and Mervlin Dupikni. Finch House says a big thank you for your support and contribution. Now that we have concluded our spotting aspect of the program, we invite our dear district education officer to be escorted by Mr. Bisset, our education officer, Ms. Martha Foster, to come and in a very special way bid farewell to the class of 2021. Ms. Foster has served as our district education officer for the past eight years and has always been extremely proud and supportive of the school's program, all programs at the school. Let us welcome Ms. Foster to present a special adieu to class of 2021. Miss Martha Foster. Well, Madam Daniel, our Vice Principal, Mrs. Anne Gifford Elcock, representatives of the school's Parent Guardian Teacher Association, our committed and dedicated teachers of the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School, our specially invited guests, parents and guardians joining us via this live stream, 
Graduands of class of 2021, I bid you a pleasant good afternoon. How do you bid adieu to such a wonderful group of students whom I met five years ago in 2017 when I first welcomed you to the hallowed walls of this institution. Five years ago, you were so unsure of yourselves, having left the familiarity of your primary schools and embarking on a new phase of your educational journey. On that first day, you congregated in the auditorium of your new secondary school in a sea of red and white, eager, excited, uncertain, as indeed is normal when we experience any form of change. Will I make new friends? Am I going to like this school? Will I like my new teachers? Will they like me? Oh, and all of those subjects. How will I cope? All these thoughts and mixed emotions flooded your minds five years ago. And I'm wondering now, what have been your thoughts and feelings these past few days? Relief? Joy? Gratitude, regret, accomplishment. I look forward to hearing from your valedictorian who will undoubtedly enlighten us on your behalf. So here you are, five years later, saying goodbye, saying so long, saying farewell to the walls of this renowned institution an institution that has cradled you from day one in Form 1 to your last days in Form 5. As Education Officer responsible for District 2, the number one district, I want to say to you, go forth and continue to be great. Continue to be the best version of yourselves, even when you feel weary. Keep pressing on even when you feel like giving up. Tackle the challenges when they seem insurmountable. Keep going until you succeed. Were these past five years easy? Absolutely not. So guess what? Neither will the next five years be as you march forward towards your goals. Nothing worth achieving comes easy or without hard work, as you have proved in 2017 and today in 2021. But with the right attitude, you all have it in you to soar and be exceptional in your various areas of interest. Precious graduates, what lies ahead is incredible. Some of you will continue your pursuit of learning, striving for your college and university degrees, whilst the rest of you will join the workforce, giving back to your country and serving as productive citizens. Whatever your path, the world is at your disposal with limitless opportunities. I look forward to seeing you again as entrepreneurs, technical engineers, musicians, electricians, contractors, hairdressers, lawyers, doctors, politicians, hoteliers, nurses, teachers, plumbers, farmers, chefs, web page designers, architects, and so much more. Go forth fearlessly, touch lives, Continue to make your parents, your guardians, your teachers, and most importantly, yourselves proud. Shine like the stars that you are. Thank you, and God bless.
And so, to you, Ms. Foster, not just for your kind words and inspiring words today, but for your unwavering support to our school, a massive school, but you have supported and tried your best to help us to steer the school in the direction that will be beneficial to all, especially our students. Thank you for your leadership and also all that you have done for us. We thank you. Ms. Frederick will present our special token to Ms. Forster. Put our hands together, students. Thank you, Neil. We now move on to your voice. You, our graduating class of 2021. Your voice being brought forward by our valedictorian as we move to our valedictory address. This year's valedictorian was selected first through the process of nomination by fellow colleagues. Fifteen students were shortlisted and auditioned for this well-sought-after role. The highest scoring student for this year's valedictory post is none other than Miss Eleni Jagannath, of Form 5 Vocational. May I add? Please come forward, Eleni. And as she makes her way up, may I add that Eleni Jagannath also served as the immediate past president of the CCSS's Students' Council. As Ms. Daniel alluded to, that today we are electing a brand new Students' Council body. So I invite you to please listen as Ms. Jagannath addresses us. Pull the mic down, Eleni. A pleasant good morning to you all, our esteemed guests, beloved principal and vice principal, faculty, and most importantly, the resilient graduates of the Cassius Comprehensive Secondary Schools Class of 2021. as we anticipate with excitement the start of a new one. My name is Eleni Jagannath, and it is my humble honor to be standing here today as your valedictorian. Allow me to start off with a quote by James David Manning. He said, on the ocean of life, let your mind be the ship and your heart be the compass. I offer this extended metaphor of wisdom for you to hold on to as a reminder when we look back at our time here at CCSS and to carry as inspiration over the next several years of our young lives. By all means, be fearless in following the desires of your heart, but always seek to walk in God's wisdom. I recall first setting foot within the walls of this prestigious institution five years ago. 
How quickly these years have flown by. I don't believe that greener version of myself could have ever imagined the wild but fulfilling journey that I was about to navigate. There would be many valley disappointments and struggles. Infinitely more rewarding and enjoyable would be the hilltop moments of victory and success. I am absolutely sure that you, my fellow graduates, share similar sentiments. These walls of CCSS, the rooms, the procedures, the expectations, and the many faces were once so foreign. It was a whole new environment that we had to navigate together. Since we came from different backgrounds and because all our campuses were uniquely set, I cannot tell you how difficult it is to sum up everyone's story into a mere 10 minute speech. However, I shall try my utmost. In the words of my supportive mother, we were teeny boppers, whatever those are, each trying to absorb the daunting reality that we were starting this portion us look forward to the next five years with a strange mixture of anxiety and zeal for the unknown. Now, look at us five years later. Those walls now hold the countless memories that we've created. As we journeyed, we transformed from very awkward caterpillars into some slightly less awkward butterflies. We were only just beginning to discover who we are and who we desired to become. In the all too familiar words of Caterpillar Guy, and end it with me if you know it, I'm a caterpillar, I want to be a butterfly, 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 butterfly. <laughs> now, don't go there. For sure, these five years have brought to light our innate talents. Cashew's Comprehensive was a safe place for these gifts and talents to be nurtured and, in time, blossom. No one can change my mind when I say that Cashew's Comprehensive Secondary School has some of the brightest upcoming shining stars in St. Lucia in track and field, football, basketball, netball. We have persons who represent excellence, such as Keanu Felicier, who recently, who recently stood up for St. Lucia uh, with the under-20 national team at the CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers. We have Leslie Ann Spencer, Nayam Etienne, Tayshawn Christoph, Jamil James, Ishmael Moise, Shania Ogil, Taisha Kade, Erin George, Malil Cherry, Rina Je, and Shukwan Severin. You know, just to name a few. Do not underestimate the extensive and diverse subjects that we had the privilege to choose from. No other secondary school on the island offers such an array of disciplines. This, these afforded us the opportunity to begin realizing our passions both the technical and vocational departments, unearthed our creativity and harnessed our practical skills for a world in which such gifts are now seen as significant. The business department, in its unique manner, nurtured a group of young, aspiring business professionals and helped them equip themselves with the necessary skills to enter the working world. And there is this department that always thought they were the elites. I'm sure you can guess which one I'm talking about. Our science department students work steadfastly to maintain the race bar set by those who came before them, determined to do all that they can to be the essential workers of tomorrow. Last, but definitely not least, our students from the general homeroom, who may have been unsure of their particular path 
or held an interest in more than one vocation, were given an opportunity to continue to explore these subject areas from each of the various departments. For certain, most of us found our place and passion in these departments. I made an effort to write down some reasons why I'm sure most of you, along with myself, will miss from this closing chapter of our lives. Our infamous June Quayol activities, those tiring but bond building elocutions, the lunchtime Zumba sessions in the hall, and the 150 locals and sausage rolls for each contributed to who we are becoming. Now, I've held out on talking about this dreadful situation. That was intentional. The anxiety-inducing C word. Four. No, I'm not talking about CXC which would have been the primary source of our stress and worry had this been normal times and circumstances. The definition of normal drastically changed for us in the first half of 2020. Since then, trying times have tested us. COVID-19 dragged us through the mud and slammed us against the wall. With this in mind, I want us all to treasure this moment right here. More specifically, how this moment is irrefutable proof that through it all, we still rise. We came, we saw, and we conquered. Surely, if we can make it this far, we have it in us to keep going and keep fighting. Look how far we've come. Look at how strong and resilient we are. I mean, come on, we are experiencing or uh, up and mini, whatever you want to call it, in addition to a nearby volcanic eruption, as well as one of the most influential social justice moments of our generation, all while getting SBAs done, prepping for CXC, being the first ever to attend classes fully online, and then finally writing our CXC exams. I think we all deserve a round of applause. I would like to firstly thank and praise the almighty God for his grace which sustained us. I thank our parents and guardians who cheered us on throughout these five years and continue to motivate and cheer us on to achieve all that we set out to. Thank you to the committed teachers who undoubtedly had one of the biggest and most unenviable tasks of all. In difficult conditions, they instilled in us knowledge that we will keep with us forever. They work tirelessly to ensure that we receive the best education they could offer. They supported us, guided us, and motivated us. Thank you to the administration, especially Ms. Daniel and Mrs. Elcock, who are the backbones of this institution and who ensured we kept to the excellent standards of CCSS. Learning to soar is a continuous struggle, that's guaranteed. You must first struggle to be able to fly. The caterpillar must shimmy its way out of its cocoon in order to do so. Why stay stuck? Life, like the various stages in the growth cycle of butterflies, is a process involving many ups and downs, many milestones, and many memories. Right now, whether you're just a caterpillar chewing on some leaves and absorbing nutrients in order to grow and sustain yourself, or maybe it's a silent time and you're in your cocoon struggling to push your wings through, please know that the time will come for each of us when we must spread our wings and fly. This is definitely not our final stage. We still have so much to discover, 
skies to explore, and a whole world to experience. For now, let's all collectively focus on the promising futures and crazy amazing firsts that we each have ahead of us. So, it is with CCSS pride that I declare, fly on my little butterflies. you for your effort, your contribution, and your flawless delivery this afternoon. Thank you for serving also as our Student Council's President, and we wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We look forward to seeing you. Though may, you may be small in stature, we know you have a wallop of an impact to create in this world. Thank you, Eleni. to come forward as we present the following awards. Students, please note, as you were told before, those receiving these awards you will obtain your trophies, not just a certificate. You have some lovely trophies to receive, but these were not quite ready due to an unfortunate incident that occurred right where, where Trophy Center is located. It occurred yesterday, so they could not complete the, the trophies. So please note, you will be getting your trophies and you will be told when to come to the school to receive those. But we are going to highlight you now. The Department Prize Awards. Best Business Student. The Best Business Education Student. This award is a given to the student whose performance in the business subjects has been most outstanding over the past three years. Our best business student is none other than Brittany Lochter. Quickly, Brittany. She wanted to ensure that she enjoyed her walk. Best. The student receiving this award is the one whose performance in food and nutrition and clothing and textiles has been outstanding over the past three years. Best vocational student, Ms. Naisha.
Thank you, Naisha. Best technical student. This student receiving this award performed exceptionally and is most outstanding in two technical subjects, two or more technical subjects over the last three years. Our best technical student is Mr. Jalani Matthew. For the first time, this award is being given because we have a student who excelled in all three subjects under the social science um umbrella. That would be geography, social studies, and history. Our best social science student is none other than Miss Miriam Montoot. Thank you, Miriam. I ask you to just have a seat right there on the blue chair. Your work is not yet done. But at this time, we call on the representatives of the graduating class of 1985, Ms. Caroline Ogis and Ms. Lauren Prosper, who will be awarding the best science student, their special prize. It is because this award is donated by the graduating class of 1985 in the name of Mr. Urban Preville, a past student and well known for his science prowess. His son still currently attends CCSS, Nicholas Preville. And so, our best natural science student, the student who performed outstandingly over the past three years in all three science subjects, natural science subjects, biology, chemistry, and physics. This award goes to Miss Shanice Wilson. Thank you very much. Waiting class of 1985. Mr. Raoul. Assisted by Miss Biscom. We now move into our outstanding awards. These are our most and best. Most improved. Most improved student. The student whose overall grades improved over the last three years, their behavior and deportment also improved over the last three years. The most improved student is Mr. Kenley Alexander. <laughs> the 
The most dedicated student is the student whose application has been consistent in all subject areas, and his or her behavior is also considered. Our most dedicated student is none other than Miss Miriam Montoot. Our most disciplined students, male and female. Students whose behavior has been consistently exemplary. The student should have had a clean record in terms of behavior. The student's regularity and punctuality as well as their timely submission and completion of assignments was also given due consideration. Most disciplined female student, Miss Nella Dominic. And most disciplined male student, Mr. Nicholas Jacoby. Especially the last three, despite challenges that they may have experienced. We have two students receiving this award. Most persevering, Gabriella Mitchell. and Sire Sydney. Most consistent. This student has demonstrated consistent performance, unflinching performance in all subjects over the last five years. Most consistent student, Ms. Delia Raul. Ms. Delia Raul receives the award from Mr. Edison Raul, her dad. <laughs> Mr. Raul, at times we thought he was back at Castries Comprehensive as another student. <laughs> Moving on to contribution to school life. The student who has been the most affable and connected with most, if not all, students throughout the five years and participated and represented the school. Our student who receives this was a cheerleader, was in ISCCF, that's the Christian Fellowship Foundation, a netballer, engage in national tournaments, spelling bee, 
at the district level twice. Our contribution to school life award goes to Miss Erin George. Around dedication and excellence. This award is given to the student who perseveres against all odds. It is known as the Cornelia Lajile Award after one of our famous, well-known and beloved teachers who has since gone to the great beyond, but we know that her spirit lives and vibrates throughout CCSS. This award is given to the student who has been most dedicated to his or her, his or her studies and persevered throughout his or her tenure. This award will be given to none other than Miss Rena Jean. And our final award, Best Academic. The best academic student. The student whose performance in at least five academic subjects, including English and mathematics, has been outstanding over the last three years. This student has the highest overall GPA, grade point average. This student is none other than Miss Eleni Jagannath. A lady for all seasons. Our little butterfly. Thank you, Eleni. And thank you, Mr. Raoul. Thank you also, Miss Biscom. We don't have too much longer to go. We're on to the last two awards, the big guns. The first of which is the Principal's Award. We call on Miss Daniel to come up to give the award to the person she has selected. But I will give you a little preamble as to how she went about selecting this individual. It is presented to a graduating student who graduates with the second highest academic achievements throughout the five years, has won the school uniform worn this, the school's uniform with pride, being most punctual and represented the founding values of the school, supported the learning of others, and enriched the community of learners. 
The student volunteered hours required to graduate, but also goes above and beyond the call of duty and shared their time and talent with all. So Ms. Daniel will now introduce or reveal the person who will be receiving the coveted Principal's Award for 2021. It's Elizabeth Suma. Thank you, Ms. Suma. It was extremely difficult to select an individual for this coveted prize, which is fully funded and sponsored by the principal. The individual always gets a device from the principal or a coveted and treasured gift item. So when you open the bag, you will see a very advanced piece of device. And also, your certificate will read what I felt about you stood out and continues to do so even today. Even when I sat next to Ms. Foster, she shared my sentiments. So, with no further delay, I call to receive Yes, Ki, I know you're watching me, yeah? <laughs> the Principal's Award to Miriam Montoot. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for Miriam. Thank you, Ms. Daniel. And our final award. Student of the Year. To give this award, we now invite our district education officer, Ms. Foster, escorted by Mr. Bissett. Wait on Mr. Bissett. How lovely. The Student of the, of the Year Award. This student best exemplifies the details and ideals of Castries Comprehensive Secondary School in terms of A, behavior. The behavior must be exemplary, never did anything but add value to the school. Example, no negative posts. B, overall performance must be exemplary. C, significant participation in extracurricular activities and representation of the school in national events from Forms 1 to 5. D, leadership qualities. The student must be mature and disciplined. E, a positive attitude. And F, most popularly nominated by colleagues. The Student of the Year Award goes to, and remember, it's not just a certificate. There's a trophy almost as big as Miss Frederick to be received. The Student of the Year Award goes to none other than Miss Erin George.
Thank you very much, Erin, and most especially, Miss Foster. Miss Foster doesn't want to wait on Mr. B. Set. <laughs> so we have come to the end of the distribution of the awards. Put our hands together, everyone, both here and at home, for all recipients. And we have come to the point of saying thank you. Remember, at CCSS, we always say thanks. Because it is the will of God that we show gratitude in all that we do. And to express thanks, to express thanks, we invite our salutatorian, Mr. Nicholas Jacoby, to come to the podium to say thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the graduating class of 2021, I hereby sincerely extend special thanks and gratitude to all of the following persons. Special thank you is extended to our district education officer, Ms. Martha Foster. Ms. Martha Foster, your support to our school and your presence at occasions such as these tell us that you love us and we thank you. We thank you for your special adieu which reminded us in so many ways how we need you to continue to play a, meaning, a meaningful role throughout our tenure. Thank you much more for assisting us in pre presenting awards at today's exercise. Thank you. Extra special thanks to our dedicated principal, Ms. Marva Daniel. Although we may not always say how grateful we are to have you as the best principal, we are truly appreciative of your tireless efforts and dedication to us throughout the five years. We hope to always remember your words of advice, encouragement, and hope given to us throughout the past five years. Thank you. We thank all present and past teaching and non-teaching staff members and their spouses for sharing our special moment today with us. Your input in our hostility development will certainly assist us in becoming better citizens of our country corporate sponsors, donors, <clears throat> and invited guests, friends and well-wishers of Cassius Comprehensive Secondary School, your financial support is surely quite invaluable and complemented the efforts aimed at making today the success it is. Special mention of the members of, class, of the class of 1985, we say thanks for the beautiful award presented to our colleague, the Best Science Award, Additionally, your donations throughout the past five years to our colleagues Shania, Shalom, Kelani, and Menisa will always be remembered and truly grateful. To the Civil Service Cooperative, we say thank you for your commitment to the Thrift Cooperative in schools. Your encouragement here today is indeed indicative of our commitment to building prosperity among the youth. Congratulations to all as we celebrate this account, Accountants Week. To, to the individual who made sure that the entire world could view our ceremony, Mr. Glenn Simon and Mr. Richmond Felix, we are sincerely grateful that our members of our alumni are able to give of their time and talent to building value to our school and its activities. Thank you, sirs, for live streaming, for our live streaming. Thank you, Mr. Alistair Howell, for coordinating the sound system loud and clear as it has been. Thank you immensely, sir. Special thanks to our religious education teachers, especially Mr. Hubert James and Mr. Gasper Henry. We know that the pandemic stalled your engagements with us, but we assure you that your educational sessions with us certainly appreciated and has indeed provided spiritual nourishment to all students. 
parents, guardians, friends of the graduating class of 2021, thank you for the years of devotion, care, and support throughout our tenure at CCSS. We thank you, graduate darling, Francis, for your beautiful rendition today. Special thanks to Mr. Mooney for, for providing us with your top quality photography of this auspicious ceremony. We say thank you to the office staff for all your clerical duties performed to ensure a successful ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, this venue was made available by the parishioners of the Lady of the Fatima Parish. We thank Ms. Dahlia Fosua for decorating and preparing this space for us. Thank you, Ms. Special thanks to the school's graduation committee and the various coordinators of the sub subcommittees. Your commitment to this special day has not gone unnoticed or unappreciated. Thank you. We thank all the staff members who played various roles before, during, and after the ceremony. We thank the members of the graduating class who, play, who played various roles, especially the valedictorian, Eleni Jaganath, those who prayed, and to all those who rehearsed well enough to sound so professional this morning. Our renditions resonated. Thank you also to Mr. St. Marth for designing the graduation, the graduation program, as well as Mr. St. Luce and Mr. Peter King for assisting with the slides, the slideshow. Your input is appreciated. We thank the school's administration, support, and staff for, for, for performing the various roles which endured that, at today's event. Thank you to our principal for a steadfast devotion and commitment to a ceremony of class. The vice principal for, for presenting awards and assisting with the presenting of awards to the bursa for ensuring that our gowns were ready for photo day office staff, security personnel, we really appreciate all that has been done for us. Thank you to our counselor for securing our beautiful corsages. Special expression of thanks to our homeroom teachers who struggled with us throughout the years. We thank you all, but especially those who were always persistently committed to ensuring that we abide by the school's rules reminded to us of the need to, to be disciplined individuals and always be where we are to be the best. Graduates, thank you for your good behavior today as well as, I, I know it was difficult and as we begin to prepare for today, we triumphed and we made it today. Thank you, our class valedictorian again. We thank you for your wonderful presentation. You surely captured our CCSS best moments over the past five years and encouraged us to really stay on strong, to make wise choices and to embrace change. To our chairperson of, of this auspicious ceremony, there is none other than you, Ms. Suma. Thank you. Um, we now call on Hazel Richardson to give a special thanks. To our chairperson of this auspicious ceremony, there is none other than you, Ms. Suma. Thank you. Agile. Ms. Suma, can you come to receive a token on behalf of the class of 2021?
Continue speech. To our chairperson of this auspicious ceremony, there is none other than you, Ms. Suma. Thank you. We have, we have, okay. We have five tokens of appreciation to hand out to five special teachers of the Castries Comprehend School, five teachers that have been there for us throughout the five years, and we are here to show them some appreciation. Mr. St. Louis, the best med technical teacher. So sorry for the pink in the glass. That wasn't for you. Miss Nicholas. the best female homeroom teacher of the technical block, Miss Sataj. Miss Daniel. <laughs> and Miss Elcock. Miss <laughs> Elcock. And I can't forget Miss Joseph, who I promised Lucas Seed from the time I was in Form 3, which was three years ago. Um, somebody can you bring it for me, please? I sent my father to buy it. I can't forget Miss Joseph. Daddy, can you bring the Lucas Seed on the stage? <laughs> Daddy, go and take the Lucas Seed. <laughs> Miss Joseph. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, and certainly the most important, we thank the Almighty Father for creating us in His image and likeness, and who continues to bless each and every one of us. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Please wait. Please wait, Nicholas. We have a token of appreciation for you to be presented by Ms. Frederick. Thank you for your expression of thanks. <laughs> Comprehensive expression of thanks.
So we have come to this point, the end of the ceremony. And just as we start all things with prayer, we end with prayer as well. So I invite everyone to please stand. As our graduates, no longer graduates, graduates of class of 2021, as they lead us for the last time wearing this uniform, in saying our school's prayer, followed by singing our school's anthem. Our school's prayer. Together, Father, I'm holding to you. Watch over me. Inspire me to choose good and to avoid evil. Allow me the sensitivities to see the needs of my neighbors and the strength to respond gently. Give me the courage to follow the truth and the grace to know you, love you, and serve you. Amen. At attention for our school's anthem. Look to this day graduates and I say thanks to everyone present as well as those viewing at home. Before you leave I ask you to please look around you to ensure that you take every personal item with you especially your wallets, purses, cell phones. Make sure you have your folders and your awards. Just a few notices in your folders, you will find staples to the front cover, just as you open it, a chit which gives you the opportunity to obtain your grab and go refreshment. This can be picked up in the parking lot at the tent, pitched in the parking lot. There are teachers there to assist you. You will be doing so by home room. So you have to present the chit to get your refreshment and drink. This is a special surprise organized by Ms. Daniel and team for you. Also, the class of 85 would like to meet with the following students after the ceremony to take a photograph. Melissa Jules, Shania O'Gill, Shalom Cox, Kalani Mitchell, and Shanice Wilson. That is the class of 85. Miss Caroline O'Gees and Lauren Prosper would like to meet with you. Melissa Jules, Shania O'Gill, Shalom Cox, Kalani Mitchell, and Shanice Wilson. And finally, all Oriolites, Mrs. Lord, Mr. Mondesi, and the Oriol Power team would like to have you present for your official photograph with them. Assemble at the front of the church and 
they will direct you as to where you are to go. And those of you who got special awards that we named, please don't forget, don't leave. The teacher spent valuable money on those awards. So please come and collect your awards. The house awards and all special subject prizes and also groups and other activities and clubs you may have been in. Understood? All right. So, without further ado, we are going to process out as the graduating class of 2021. I thank all of you for being here, principal, staff, teachers, invited guests, and most of all, students, parents, and viewers, and our technical and sound team. Mr. Brown, Mr. Simon, Mr. Howell, and all others, Mr. St. Louis, Dorville, and all others. Thank you. I didn't know much love, but it came too soon. And there was 